Hey, and welcome back to a new video. If you are new here make sure to subscribe for more videos where we teach you how to make money online. Now let's get into the video. Right guys so Instagram email scraping is a topic for today and I'm really excited for this video because this is something that I've been working on for over a year now. To be honest, and this video is going to be really useful for all those of you who are into emailing marketing. If you're selling your products, if you're getting leads for your business through emailing, then this is something I believe that you're going to benefit from. So, the thing about scraping emails from Instagram is that all the businesses you're reaching out to actually attach their contact information on their account, so you usually get only have to press a few buttons here and one of them is going to be contact or email. So, they will have their email attached to their account. However, one issue we have is that this information right here is only visible on the mobile application, so when it's only on the Instagram mobile application it makes it hard to scrape. So, if you look at the website here or the web version, same account here. This information is missing, right? So, we only get to see the bio, but then there's no email. It's very hard to run a software that's going to find that information for us and automate the whole process, basically, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute. I was trying to find a method to scrape these emails. However, in most tutorials out there and most YouTube videos that I watched, the method that they're teaching you is how to scrape accounts that have their email on their bio. I'm sure you came across some accounts that have a section on their bio here that says, contact us. So, some profiles have their email address right there in the bio. The number of accounts that does this is too small, so we must find another method which I will show you. This is a Chrome extension that can do that for you. It can scrape by accounts that have their emails in their bio. However, this is a very limited approach because only a very small percentage of accounts actually put their email in their bio. You know most businesses will just attach their contact information on the Instagram application. So using this method will not be able to scrape emails which isn't in the bio. So today we're actually going to talk about the advanced approach. So, we're going to find the software that can scrape emails that isn't in the bio. It's of course Jarvi. So, Jarvi for those of you who are into social media marketing, social media management, this is definitely a software that you probably came across before. It is a social media automation software that helps you do different things such as follow unfollow people, like posts, and more. You know it's a really powerful software. It can do so many different things. However, this is not really what we're interested in today. So if you don't have it already go ahead and download it, you will receive a free trial period so that you can use this for free in a limited period of time. The part of Jarvi that we're interested in is this right here, the scraping tool. So, in order to use that first of all you need to attach your Instagram account. It can be a random account. It doesn't have to be a high quality account or your main account or whatever. It can be any. You can just create a random account and just attach it here, and once that's done. You can just click on it and then go to scrape tools. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is a page that has a bunch of tools you can use in order to scrape accounts and account information. Right. So as you can see, you can extract comments from the URL. You can extract likes, followers, or username so many different little things, but what we're interested in is this section right here. Extract additional user info. What I have here is a list of accounts, so as you can see, all these accounts, none of them have their email in their bio. However, all these are business accounts, and they have their email in the contact info. And what you're going to try and do here is to extract that information, extract the contact information. So, what we do is we click on save file on disk, and basically, that's going to create an Excel file for us once the scraping process is done with all the data. Then we need to click here to scrape additional user info, right so here you get a bunch of options. All we need to click is, extract public email, phone, and address. And also exclude private users. So, if you have a list of random Instagram accounts. If you don't know whether business accounts or not, you can save time by excluding the private users, so they can only scrape the business accounts for example, or at least public accounts. So just check that. Right. And then we're going to scroll down here to this section, and this is where we put in the list of accounts. So here is the list of accounts that I showed you earlier and we also click on extract, public email, phone, and address. So that's it and then just click on extract users. The scraping process has begun. 
As you can see here, username extraction has started and this process usually only takes a few seconds. As you can see it's already done. If you have a huge list of usernames is obviously going to take a little longer. There we go. A nice Excel file with all our data. It's a little bit messy so I'm just going to pause this video and organize everything and show you guys the results. Right guys, so here we have it. Here is the spreadsheet with all the data we have extracted. Nicely presented so we get the username, the user ID, and the full name. We get a bunch of follower counts, following counts. We get the bios. We get the links attached to the accounts and then finally, here's the magic list of all, the emails or the business emails. And of course, we can go ahead and double check to make sure these are all correct. I'm, I'm not so sure these are all correct, so that's it really. And all this did we do with this really powerful software and this actually something that not many people know about because most people who know about Jarvi think it's just a social tool for social media that just is following and unfollowing and all that stuff. But it actually has some hidden features such as this one, which is extremely powerful for us who do email marketing. So, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the advanced approach. However, there's still more to it. Because. Even though this will help you and save you tons of time, you know you still got to go and find these accounts right, because these accounts are not just going to magically appear, you know you're going to have to go and do the research and find these accounts to scrape them. So, if you're serious about email marketing, then this is a process that you will probably want to avoid and will also want to automate, right? Because let's say you are, I don't know. You might have an agency and you might be providing social media management services to restaurants in New York City, right? So that's a very targeted niche. So, in order to find those businesses that you would outreach, to all those restaurants that you would want to send your script to, you would have to go on Instagram, maybe search for like New York City. And then you have all these posts here that you would manually have to go into and try to check if there are restaurants, so I think this looks like restaurants opening hours, order pickup. Yeah, this looks like a restaurant so we would copy the username, paste it in like a spreadsheet or whatever, then go to the next one. This looks like a blogger, so that's not good enough. Blogger again, so you see like this is a long process, especially if you want to be sending out a lot of emails. If you want us to make a full video guide on how to automate this process, then leave a comment down below. I really hope I was able to provide you with some value here. This is a really powerful method that you can start using today and yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos, where you will learn different methods on how to gain wealth online. I will see you in the next video.